Now we're going to add another UI table view in our application. We will display each planet's information in this table view so that users can find out more facts about each planet. However, we're going to go about this in a very different way than before. Instead of using an already hooked up UI table view controller, we're going to use a UI table view on top of a UI view controller and hook it up the delegate and data source connections similar to how we did in UI scroll view. Now you might ask, why wouldn't we always use a UI table view controller? Well, a lot of the time we would, but this allows for more flexibility. What if we wanted our table view to only take up the, tap, the top half of our available screen? Then using a UI view controller would be the best bet. So our first step would be to drag out a UI view controller, which we can find in our object library, onto our storyboard. So I'm going to go ahead and move up my scroll view table view controller here so I can put these kind of side by side. Since my table view is going to be able to push to both my space image view controller as well as this new view controller I just created. So what is the first thing we have to do when we add a new view controller? Well, we need a class or a controller, specifically a view controller, that's going to manage this new view controller that we just added to our storyboard. So let's go to File, New File. And we're going to choose iOS Cocoa Touch Objective C class. And we're going to make this a subclass of UI View Controller. And I call, call this OW Space Data View Controller. I can press Next and press Create. And the next step is to go back to my storyboard. And I'm going to go ahead and go to the Identity Inspector and update the class with the view controller I just created to manage this view controller. So I can type in OW space data view controller. And now we see that this view controller is being managed by the OW space data view controller. So I can see that this populates down here when I select a different view controller. I just kind of click on the screen here. I'm able to see that this is the proper class now. So the next thing we want to do is we want to set up our table view. So let's scroll down in our object library and find a table view. Now for this example I'm just going to have it take up the whole screen but if you wanted to save some screen real estate and do some additional view elements below this table view you could drag it up as well. We also need to hook up this table view to our proper header file so let's go to the OW space data view controller.h using the alt key and hook them up side by side. So I'm going to drag from my table view into my header file here and we're going to give it a, an outlet connection and we can simply call this table view and it's going to be of type UI table view and its storage type is going to be strong. We can press connect. I'm also going to just do a little bit of initial setup here so I'm going to go back to single view here and we can make sure that we have our table view selected and I'm going to go into the Attributes Inspector and scroll down. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the text color to white so that we get a nice white color. And I'm also going to be able to go into OW space data view controller.m instead of the view did load method. And again, we're just going to do a little bit of initial setup. So we're going to set the background color of our view. And the view sits below our table view. So it's what are we'll see but behind our table view and we're going to say self.view.background color is equal to well let's create a UI can a UI color instance so we're going to use UI color and we'll use the class method black, black color to return a UI color that's a black color we can set that equal to our background color we're also going to be able to set up our table views background color so let's say self.table view dot background color is equal to UI color, clear color. And now we've done some initial setup. So in our next video, we'll learn how to properly set up our delegate and our data source so that our table view will work properly.